Of Florida Cracker Alligator Products. We're doing a uh, whole alligator tail on uh, Easy Q's Grill today here at the show. It turned out real good. A lot of folks standing in line for a sample of it. Wish you were here today too. Thank you. Now you trap out here, right? Yes, sir. I'm a trapper down in Florida. That's where these came from. These have to be two farm gators because it's not trapping season in Florida. We uh, have a business of selling alligator meat in the restaurants down there, plus taking folks on alligator hunts uh, during September. Y'all have a website? Uh, no, sir, not yet. We're working on that, though. Okay. If some, if if a restaurant wanted to find some alligator, how would they find it? Uh, Florida Cracker Alligator Products, uh, Gainesville, Florida. Uh, phone number is 352-372-4237. Now, how many gators can you trap a year? Uh, we see? get about 100. Uh, it's very strictly regulated, and that's about the number of permits that we can handle uh, safely within that five-week hunt period that we have. How much usable meat comes out of a gator? Uh, about 18 percent. It's actually smaller than what a fish does, but the hide and the head weigh a whole lot, so there's not a lot of room for the meat. What do you do with the other parts? Uh, the heads go to taxidermy. There's one right down there that's done with a taxidermy in Florida. Does very fine work. We've been using him for years. That's about a 12 and a half footer. Uh, the skins go to tanneries overseas, and they make classic leather out of them, and uh, that goes into shoes, purses, briefcases, suitcases, watch bands, all kind of different leather products. Uh, the carcass itself is not even thrown away. That goes to a, a business that renders it for oil and uh, used in different other products. Huh. Now, what, what does Gator retail for a pound? Uh, the restaurants uh, generally sell it as an appetizer. Uh, it goes from anywhere from $5 to 7 or $8 for an appetizer order. Uh, seafood markets sell it for anywhere from $10 to about $12 a pound, depending on the market. Cool. How long you been? In, how long you been trapping? Uh, about 16, 17 years. Started out as a hobby business and then made it into my regular business. How many gators you figure you trapped in that? Uh, thousands. <laughs> thousands. <laughs> You got an interesting one you want to talk about? Uh, well, we were uh, had a, a fellow from North Carolina that hunted all over the world and uh, was bragging to me on the phone that every hunt he went on, he got a big trophy. Uh, every Everyone, he just he said, it's a luck factor I have. And I said, okay, well, we'll probably get a 12-footer. And he said, well, what's the record? And I said, it's over 14. And he said, well, we'll get one bigger than a 12. Then. And we ended up getting a 13-6, which was my biggest alligator in about 17 or 18 years of hunting. <laughs> and I couldn't believe his luck factor, but he was right. We'd never seen that alligator in that part of the lake before, and he was there, and he got him. Did your permit just permit one area to, to trap in? Or? Yes, sir, a certain body of water and a certain week uh, in September. Okay. It's, it's cool. very strictly regulated. It's no longer an endangered species. Uh, it hadn't been that way for a long time, but the Game Commission in Florida has figured out how to make them an economic uh, product, so they have worked it very well, and the Game Commission makes a good bit of money off of it. Uh, we, the trappers, make some money off of it, too, so it works out real well for everybody.